Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. In Islamic history, the name of Nusayba bint Ka'ab, known by the title Umm Amra, shines as a symbol of courage and heroism. As one of the first women to embrace Islam, she not only became a mother to brave Islamic warriors, but also stood as the primary protector of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the battlefield. Let's delve into the remarkable journey of a woman who has etched her name in the annals of Islamic history. Nusayba, the daughter of Ka'ab, was known by the title Umm Amara, the mother of leaders. She was one of the first women to embrace Islam. Born into the Bani Najjar tribe in Medina, she was the sister of Abdullah bin Ka'ab. Nusayba is also known as the mother of Islamic warriors, Abdullah and Habib bin Zaid al-Ansari. She embraced Islam along with 74 leaders, fighters, and statesmen of Medina during the Second Pledge of Aqaba in 622 CE. At that time, only two women pledged allegiance to Islam, namely Nusayba and Asma binti Amr bin Adi. This agreement took place in the 13th year of Prophet Muhammad's prophethood. Subsequently, these 75 individuals accompanied the Prophet Muhammad to collectively propagate Islam in Medina. The pledge of these two women was previously informed by Ghaziya bin Amr, Nusayba's second husband. He informed the Prophet Muhammad that there were women in Yathrib who wanted to give their pledge privately, and the Prophet approved. Nusayba then returned to Medina and began teaching Islam to women there. Nusaiba's two sons from her first husband, Zaid bin Asim Mazni, became renowned as Mujahids for sacrificing their lives in battle. Abdullah and Habib bin Zaid fell as Islamic heroes. Habib was sent as an envoy to combat the false prophet Musailama al kadzab and was martyred by Musailama's brutal hands. After her husband Zaid passed away, Nusayba married Ghazia bin Amr and bore a son named Tamin and a daughter named Khawla. Nusayba was known as a female warrior Mujahida, and her tale of heroism shone brightly during the Battle of Uhud. Initially, Nusayba participated in warfare like other women, providing logistical support by carrying water for the army of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, while her husband and both her sons directly engaged in combat. During the battle, there were Muslim archers who disobeyed orders, tempted by the allure of victory and war spoils. The dynamics of the battlefield shifted, and the Muslim forces, including Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were pushed back. Upon realizing this, Nusayba swiftly grabbed her sword and shield to directly protect Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She acted as a shield to defend him from enemy arrows, sustaining several wounds in the process. When the cavalry of the Quraysh attacked, Nusayba pulled the reins of the horse, causing its rider to fall. Witnessing this, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called out for his son, Abdullah, to assist his mother in combat. The pair then surrounded the Prophet, hurling stones at the Quraysh forces. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, observed Nusayba sustaining numerous wounds. In the midst of battle, Abdullah was also injured by a sword blow from the Quraysh forces on his left arm. However, Nusayba continued to encourage her son not to lose courage. Abdullah rose and retrieved his sword. Prophet Muhammad then encouraged Abdullah and praised his bravery to continue fighting. Prophet Muhammad also pointed out the man who had injured Abdullah to Nusayba. Nusayba then stepped forward and fought against the man, slashing his enemy's leg with her sword. Their foe fell to the ground and was killed by other warriors. During the Battle of Uhud, Nusayba sustained 12 slashing wounds. Her 12th wound was inflicted by a Quraysh man named Ibn Kumiya. He was struck in the shoulder and remained unconscious until the end of the battle. When he woke up after the battle, Nusaiba's first question was whether Prophet Muhammad was safe. 
Umu Umara was renowned for her bravery on the battlefield. She was a loyal wife and a loving mother. Nusaiba possessed remarkable patience and was highly educated, especially in memorizing the Quran and Hadith. Besides the Battle of Uhud, she participated in other battles, including the battles of Hunayn, Yamama, Khaybar, and the Treaty of Hudaybiyya. Thus, the story of Nusaiba binti Ka'ab, known as Ummu Umara, serves as a shining example of courage and loyalty in the struggle of Islam. Through her roles as a fighter, mother, and wife, Nusaiba became a role model for future generations. Her presence not only enriches Islamic history with her heroism on various battlefields, but also with her resilience in facing trials. May this inspirational story continue to inspire and remind us of the values of courage, loyalty, and perseverance in our life's journey. Wassalamu alaikum and see you in the next videos.